Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about if else statement in Verilog query. So if else statement. You know very well by listening this <coughs> if else statement. It is representing a conditional statement. If some condition it is true, then some set of sequential statements will be executed. Otherwise, else other set of sequential statements have to be executed. Now there are there is a, some uh, difference between the representations, the syntax representation of the VHDL and as well as Verilog coding. So, so let me first give you a glance of this if else statement. It is a procedural statement. It is a procedural statement. A condition is tested. A condition is tested and a procedural statement and a procedural statement is executed is executed if the condition is true if the condition is true in the second form in the second form an else class an else class with another procedural statement with another procedural statement is executed is executed if condition is false if condition is false that is the meaning of this if else okay if 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 the condition is true then it executes some set of procedural statements otherwise that means else remaining set of procedural statements nothing but sequential statements so the syntax for this one is syntax if see one type syntax is the like this no else statement that means just if condition is there if condition and some set of procedural statements will be executed procedural statements and the second representation of this one is if else condition if condition procedural statement procedural statements else else procedural statements other set of procedural statements okay so this is one type condition this is another type condition in the first case we don't have else condition only one condition if it is true the procedure the procedural statements which are under that will be executed otherwise the second condition is if else condition if one condition otherwise another condition okay so for example example module module some prime or v prime n comma f input size 3 down to 0 n output f register f f is declared as register so parameter one is prime is equal to one always at the n so always at n means whenever n is has a n whenever n has a change if if n is equal to one 
if n equal to 1 means it is a it is not assignment e, it is not assignment it is a conditional statement whether these two are equal equality condition so then f is equal to 1 is prime 1 is prime else if n modulus 2 is equal to 0 then begin begin if n is equal to 2 f is equal to 1 else f is equal to 0 so here i am ending the first if okay if has to be ended else if n is less than equal to 7 f is equal to 1 else if n is equal to 11 or n is equal to equal to 13 f is equal to 1 else if else f is equal to else f is equal to 0 and module and module okay see here first you are saying if n is 1 directly it is a prime otherwise if n is equal to 0 then f is equal to 1 else f is equal to 0 here we have started with begin that's why it is n again if condition is there if condition is there that's why else if again else if okay once these else ifs are over then else the many condition last condition okay this is what the nested if this type of uh, this style of writing if else conditions is known as nested ifs okay and uh, i will also tell you how the wiring is going to be declared wire statement wire statement so wire statement Default net type is a wire. Default net type is a wire. Default net type is a wire. Any signal name, any signal name that appears on module that appears on module input or output input or output port but not in net declarations but not in net declarations is is considered to be considered to be net <coughs> wire type is considered to be wire type let me see here any signal any signal name any signal name that appears on the module input output ports but not in the net declarations but not in the net declaration net declaration means completely it is input and output ports we are seeing but internal signals will not be declared as a net. So that is a wire. So wire. Wire net provides. Wire net provides. Basic connectivity. Basic. Connectivity. So let us see the syntax of this one. So, syntax of wire is syntax wire identifier identifier 1, identifier 2 and so on. Suppose if the wire is suppose if the wire is an array Suppose if the wire is an array type, then 
सेम वायर वायर द रेंज एम एस बी टू एल एस बी एम एस बी टू एल एस बी आइडेंटिफायर वन आइडेंटिफायर टू एंड सो वन ओके दिस इज दिंटैक्स नाउ लेट एस सी वन एग्जाम्पल मॉड्यूल मॉड्यूल सम डी कॉडर मॉड्यूल सम डी कॉडर इनपुट वायर जी वन जी टू जी थ्री इनपुट वायर एरे टू डाउन टू जीरो ए आउटपुट रजिस्टर एट ऑन टू जीरो समवाइ दिस इज व्हाट दी जस्ट ए नॉमिनल रिप्रेजेंटेशन आई हैव गिवन यू सो दिस इज व्हाट दी वायर डेक्लेरेशन वायर सन रजिस्टर डेक्लेरेशंस ओके सो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द केस स्टेटमेंट्स इन द वेरिएबल कोडिंग थैंक यू